is a uh, super continuum, white light source. Uh -huh. We call it a laser because it's uh, bright and intense as a laser. Uh, it's single mode and it covers a very wide wavelength range. Okay. So it goes from roughly 420 nanometers up to about 2 microns. So it span expands and covers a very, very large wavelength range. It's basically a photonic crystal fiber, a highly nonlinear fiber that's pumped by a uh, pulsed source. It can either be a uh, nanosecond source or picosecond source. In this case, we have a picosecond source and we call this model the Super K Extreme. Uh, this is the model we typically produce for uh, imaging applications like the fluorescence microscopy uh, and OCT applications as well. The total uh, average power in integrated power across the whole white light range is from about 2 watt to uh, 8 watt of output power, about 25% uh, within the visible range of the Super K spectrum. So, um, so basically, from this white light source here, you have the uh, raw uh, white light output, which is typically being launched into a filter device. What we are showcasing here is the Super K barrier, which is a tunable filter ranging from about 400 nanometers to 820 nanometers. And if you come a bit closer, you can actually see, see here how it works. So here we have a part of the spectrum. And um, here we have the uh, center wavelength of the filter which is at 332 nanometers, which is the green light. We can adjust the bandwidth from about 4 nanometers to 100 nanometers. So in, the, in this case, we'll change it to about 10 nanometers. And if you come over here, so the super continuum is going through the filter and we get the green light out of, the, of this filter device. It can either be provided as a uh, collimated output or a fiber connectorized output like a FC-ABC connector or FC-PC connector. And here we have the uh, output. I will turn on the uh, shutter here if you come over here. So you will see a very nice spot. Single mode output diffraction limited. Extremely uh, nice uh, spot. Oh, okay. And uh, in a moment I'm going to change that. So if you stay tuned on the spot. I'll change it to red. So we go to red color. And you can see that it's tuned uh, over 100 nanometers in less than a second. So it's uh, rapidly tunable as well, which is really nice. This is by using our own uh, Super K control software, but it's possible also to make your own program so that you can make a uh, tuning sequences or stepwise tuning in uh, programs like uh, LabVIEW or in C++. We also got other filter devices, if you come over here, like the, um, the Select. This one contains up to uh, eight individual wavelength channels uh, using so-called AOTF, acoustic optical tunable filters, uh, for um, typically used for excitation of, uh, of multi-wavelength systems. Um, the wavelength there is, or the bandwidth there, is roughly three to five nanometers. Uh, it's really determined by the uh, the crystal technology within this device. We also have other filter solutions like the Gauss, which makes a nice Gaussian uh, profile, typically at uh, or at 800 nanometers or uh, 1.3 micron, which are the uh, uh, wavelengths typically used for OCT applications. And then, of course, we have different uh, fiber solutions. We call it FDS. It's a fiber delivery system, which means that uh, the fiber is optimized for different wavelength ranges, either in the visible or in the infrared range. So it transmits the light typically across four, five, six hundred nanometers, and then cut off the rest of the light uh, of the light. So it also acts as a filter in that way. And as mentioned, this can be provided either as a fiber connectorized output or a collimated output. Um, we also make uh, uh, nonlinear fiber solutions. We call them femto white cars or femto white 800. And those are for customers who want to create their own super continuum using their own uh, pulse lasers like titanium sapphire lasers. So this is a cheaper solution for those who cannot afford a complete uh, super continuum system. Um, Yeah, and then we also have a device here called the Super K um, Spectra Split, 
a very simple device. It divides the Super K spectrum into a visible range and a near infrared range for those who either want to work in the infrared range or in the visible range. Then we have different options for the Super K. We provide the systems. Normally they are made with fixed repetition rate at uh, 40 or 78 megahertz, but they can also be made with uh, adjustable repetition rate by using a pulse picker. So basically you will leave out every second or third pulse, etc., all the way down to one or two megahertz of repetition rate, which is very nice for uh, uh, for life science applications and, and uh, where you depend on the decay time of what, what you look at. Furthermore, we also make uh, power uh, lock options for users who want to have increased spectral stability. Uh, so this is a feature that is available on the Super K system and also on the accessories. So you can make uh, active feedback from a uh, photo detector on the filters back to the Super K or from other detectors within your system to stabilize the uh, spectral uh, uh, output of the supercontinuum source.